Let's now go to the ongoing impasse in the digital TV migration process. Now, in the, the Information Communication Technology Association of Kenya has accused the Communications Authority of Kenya of using militarized approach in effecting the digital migration. The association says it is unfortunate that rather than provide leadership to resolve this embarrassing stalemate emanating from policy failure at the ministry level, the ICT Cabinet Secretary, Dr. Fred Matiangi, has resorted to chest thumping and antagonistic responses. Let's now bring in the Association Secretary General, Akamodo Njenga. Mr. Njenga, how would you describe the approach taken by the ICT Cabinet Secretary as well as the Communications Authority of Kenya? The approach uh, that has been taken, uh, if I were to describe it, I would say it is uh, very wanting. And uh, for the record, it is important that I emphasize that the digital migration exercise is of great importance to us as a country. The results of its successful implementation are about to yield a lot of dividends in terms of freeing of spectrum, in terms of uh, better uh, signal, better clarity, better sound uh, definition. But for us to get to the proper destination, the approach that ought to be used is one that is uh, fairly inclusive and especially towards this particular statement where there has been a dispute which has really consumed a, a lot of time between the policy makers of the ministry, the regulator, the CAK, and the three lead media uh, uh, houses. Mr. Njenga, you point to a, a policy failure at the ministry level. Uh, from where you stand, where did the rain start beating us? The rain started beating us when we blurred at the point of a, a frequency allocation to an extent that we granted more frequencies to foreign entities than what was left for a local uh, utility. And uh, it is uh, worth uh, noting that uh, spectrum is a, is a national resource. Just like we have uh, forest, we have wildlife, it is a resource that we ought to, we, we ought to hold uh, and uh, utilize uh, very cautiously. And therefore, the minute we do not plan for spectrum right from the start and then have a large chunk of that going to foreign entities and when our very own entities which have been in the sector for, uh, uh, for quite a while are left to scavenge for the uh, remnant uh, frequencies, I don't think uh, it is uh, fair to uh, us uh, or to our national interests. Okay, Mr. Njenga, there, there are some Kenyans who are not supporting the media houses. They are saying that you know, the media houses should have acted earlier. Uh, do you support that claim? They have, there has been a lot of interaction between the media and the, the ministry. You, you, you may want to recall that the, this process has been under the uh, stewardship of the Digital Television Committee where the government uh, is the majority because it consists of the ministry, the CAK, the National Communication Secretariat representative, and also the various uh, representatives from the pay TV vendors. Uh, so that uh, team that has been steering the process has in a way been, been skewed against the local media industry because of interests which uh, are uh, obvious. So that uh, has meant that uh, the local broadcasters have been negotiating from a very uh, weak po uh, uh, beginning point. And if you look at uh, the reaction, even today, if you consider what happened last week, immediately after the judgment, uh, the Supreme Court judgment on Friday, 
The next thing that is happening on Saturday is a raid and, but, and, and uh, vandalizing of the transmission stations of these three leading uh, broadcasters at Remuru, uh, where you find unnecessary uh, force being used. Because if we are going to excel in this uh, migration process, we must uh, bring everybody on board. We must help even uh, the people who are being affected, the viewers, to understand why exactly do we need to have uh, this switch? Why do we need to move from the current mode of uh, transmission, which is analog, to the digital? We All need right. to... All right, yes. so um, th th there is uh, an issue that has been uh, the... the, the the basis of a lot of discussion, especially via social media, and that is a must-carry rule for the free-to-air channels. Very quickly, what does that mean? What, what does it say? What, is, what, what should Kenyans expect? That uh, was a requirement. The must-carry rule was uh, a requirement that was imposed on the, the signal uh, carriers, the, 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 the broadcast signal distributors, which places upon them a requirement that they must uh, carry uh, signals from all free-to-air uh, uh, stations. So stations like uh, uh, KTN, which uh, do not charge uh, for their uh, content, it was a requirement. But now the question that arises is if a requirement is imposed on you that you must carry certain goods alongside yours, then you also have an obligation to negotiate with the owner of the goods. Otherwise, you cannot just uh, come and uh, uh, snatch somebody's content, and then simply because you are required to uh, transmit it alongside the other content that you carry, you pay no regard or no attention to the owner of that content. And I think uh, that would be improper because... Oh. All right, Mr. Njenga, um, so now where, where do we go from here? Where um, the Ministry of ICT, <coughs> the Communications Authority of Kenya, has their hotline stance, and the media houses are saying they will not budge. So where do Kenyans go from here? Ultimately, we'll have to think of a workable solution. Just dumping, like uh, we observed earlier, will help nobody. Because if uh, you are in charge of a docket, you hold that docket in trust for the Kenyan people, and you must ensure that their interests are prioritized. So the starting point would be to, ha would be to have the parties to the dispute come together on a common table. And that, uh, that, that, that is partly what the Supreme Court uh, judgment would have anticipated that once the judgment has been given, you take time as the litigating parties to isolate the issues that uh, have not been, uh, or, or, or where there, has, there have been uh, differences uh, in terms of perspective. And then on that basis, you sit down and with respect to the uh, judgment of the court, you see how best to move forward. Otherwise, right. if, if uh, the, the, the ministry and the CAK resort to the military approach, whereby they say that this has to be done, we know, of course, for you to switch from one mode of uh, transmission to another, you need to uh, change the infrastructure. You need to bring in some new components, and that cannot be done overnight. I do not understand how they expected that by uh, Saturday, after the ruling on Friday, that by Saturday the media stations uh, that uh, had uh, canvassed the matter in court would have been in a position to procure all that is needed to set up the new model right, of right. uh, transmission.